Nazare right now is uh, definitely one of the top spots for big waves in the world. One of the scariest waves and because it's so famous and there's so much uh, noise about this wave and so many people saying how scary it is, that for sure it was really intimidating to to go sail there. And I, I remember the, the first day when I got there, the, the waves were not that big, but still the feeling of the place was a bit yeah intimidating. Like really this cliff, this big beach and not so much people and the shore break. Basically, windsurfing for me was um, a sport I always loved and then I started to travel. I, I love to come to, to Maui. Um, it's one of the best places in the world to windsurf. You can have great conditions, uh, big waves and all the best riders are here. So, yeah, it's a really important time of the year for me when I'm in Maui. But as much as I like being here, um, sometimes the crowd and the competition in the water just feels a little bit too much. And that's why I really need uh, to, to escape and, and go to other places. It's more about pushing the, the sport in, in the way I, I want to do it. So for me, what I like and what I know I can do the best is going to new place and ride good, sometimes big ways. So this is really what I want to do. So yeah, this year I, I took a bit more time this winter also to... I've been doing this all, all winters, but some years more, some years less. This year I took more time to to take the opportunity every time there was like a low pressure, throwing big wave and strong wind somewhere. And for sure, I always want to, I always want to go to the place like the, with the heaviest wave, like, you know, I can handle and have fun. But yeah, it's about having fun. It's not about uh, trying to break a record or... So a lot of places in Ireland, Portugal, uh, other parts of Europe, you can get actually amazing conditions. You have rain, you have cold, uh, changing conditions, but when it's on, and if you're there in this moment, then you can really score this big, clean waves. And this, this is what I'm always looking for. It doesn't always happen, but that's the goal, ultimate goal. Mm, sun will surely rise today, and I will not take for granted.
always try to get prepared as much as I can before, looking at maps, pictures, video, forecast, everything, trying like really get as much information as I can. So it's all these little things and uh, it's like a game, little game. So uh, in the end, it's not so much sailing compared to all the, all, all the time spent just thinking about it. But uh, that's why when it happens, it's even more tasty and and that's the only way to score these conditions. Anyway. When you go to the place, you heard so much, you saw so much about the place that you have already all this in your mind. And once you're in the water, actually, it's like, you have to think, okay, just stay in the moment where you are. Try to forget about all, all this and just focus on what's around you. I've been doing this already since a lot of years around Europe and other parts of the world and yeah I want to keep trying to sail new places, finding new spots and yeah do it when the conditions are the best and now that I'm fit and ready for it. <laughs>